Hey, everybody, earlier I said that the Jaguars would win a magical game, but I didn't envision anything like what we just saw. Trevor Lawrence throwing not one, not two, not three, but four interceptions in the first half. Then coming back in the second half and throwing four touchdown passes. Now, I told my mother as we end, ended the first half that the L.A. Chargers were playing rather, well, I would say lax. Plays that earlier in the first half they would stop because they were so intense, they let go. And, for example, the key play for me that proved what I was saying was a simple play-action fake flat pass that was batted by the Jaguars and nearly intercepted. Had it been intercepted, it would have been their first touchdown. Didn't happen. But I concluded right then and there that the L.A. Chargers were just a little too comfortable having taken the lead so quickly. And they th would have the nerve to think that the lead was due to what they did. But in point of fact, it was really what Trevor Lawrence and the bad game plan in the first half did. Quite literally fed the ball to the Chargers. The Chargers didn't have to do anything but be in the right place, which they were, and catch the ball. That's what happened. But when the Chargers decided to first take their pedal off the metal, if you will, coupled with the Jaguars throwing more short passes and outside calling them more outside runs and being more determined in their play. The biggest difference of all as well. And then chipping down literally one play at a time, that's precisely what happened. And what we saw was the third largest comeback in NFL playoffs history. Amazing. Does this mean the Jaguars go to the Super Bowl? I don't know. You have the Bills out there that play tomorrow. You have some great teams and organizations coming up. But one thing is for certain. The Jaguars are about to advance. They're coached by Super Bowl winning head coach and Doug Peterson. And they must be labeled quite dangerous. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnowblog.com.